Yeah, Max Freed is, is not the kind of pitcher you're looking oh, to fantastic. see if you're hoping to stop the bleeding. It is in Philly up against Ranger Suarez. You're dealing with a minus 170 favorite on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Total here is eight and a half. Again, freed with the ball. This feels like a tough spot to do anything other than to be enticed by the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, if we're looking towards betting this game, now, do you think the Braves would win? Probably. But if you're just looking to go head-to-head with Max Freed versus Ranger Suarez, that's really your indicator here. First five innings, run line here, a minus 120 price as the favorite here for the Braves, which means at the end of five innings, the Braves have to have at least a one-run lead to mm-hmm. catch that ticket. Quite frankly, I think they will. What's the high end here for the Philadelphia Phillies over the first five, first five innings against Freed? One run coming on a solo home run because the Phillies certainly haven't shown a propensity here, Kevin, to stack up back-to-back-to-back mm-hmm. hits and have a organic inning underway. It's more of swing for the fence, see if you can hit a home run, and leave it at that. And that's been the Phillies' M.O. for quite some time at this point. But if we're looking for a day-to-day matchup, Suarez has been okay over the past 30 days, but you just trust that Atlanta lineup much more than you do the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, I understand that yesterday the Angels did rack it up against the Atlanta Braves, but they're just a better pedigree team at this point. If I had, let's just say, healthy Gene Segura, healthy Bryce Harper, and you know Aaron Nola on the mound, yeah, this is a different equation that we're going to take a look at, but I just can't trust the Phillies, mm-hmm. even though some of these batters in the lineup, Kevin, over the past 30 days have had some success against left-handed pitching. Veerling, Schwarber, Real Muto, Bohm, and Munoz have done well, but the guys in the middle of that lineup that you're asking to buoy your team, right? Like a Reese Hoskins, an 071 ISO power number, and Nick Castellanos, a zero ISO power number against left-handed pitching over his last 16 at-bats over 30 days. I just, just cannot trust the Philadelphia Phillies, and this is one of those series, Kevin, which you're right. You end the break and you sweep the Marlins, who you never can beat. The good vibes are there. You're supposed to take at least two out of three out of the Chicago Cubs and then play the Atlanta Braves. This is a homestand, Kevin. Like, you came up against, you playing the Cubs right after the break, and then the, this is what you circle and say, this is where we make our room. And it just seems like they're sliding back in the standings. So for me, first five run line Atlanta Braves, they should be up one run after five here for me. Yeah, it makes sense. Or, you know, that Braves, I'm sure, team total people will take a look at as well. It's a four and a half minus Mm -hmm. 120, not the cheapest number, but they've seen Ranger Suarez twice. They have hit him both times uh, to start this season. The weather's a little odd, though, uh, today, at least the early reports I saw there in Philly. So something to keep your eye on.